Hi, good, good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming so earlier. And today we are going to talk about this topic, integrating Cellmeter with existing monitoring solution using Zabbix. Uh, I'm Chen from EasyStack, which is a startup company in, uh, in China. And uh, my two other colleagues, uh, Jin Wang and H Liu, because of uh, the visa reasons, did not come to the science, so I sorry to tell them that um, today there is only be me to share this session. And let's see this topic again, integrating Cellmeter with the existing monitoring solution. Before we talk about that, someone would uh, ask that why we should uh, uh, use such a tool to integrate Cellmeter and uh, Zabbix. That is because there are some customers already using Zabbix to monitor their physical nodes or network or something else. So they don't want to manage two platform monitoring platforms. So we, we, we need to pull Cellmeter monitoring data to Zabbix. That is why we are willing to do this. And uh, let's take a, take a look as this intro introduction. Uh, ZCP solution involves two commonly used software, uh, MongoDB, Zabbix, Grafana, and RabbitMQ. Here still need to, to mention there's three other OpenStack uh, projects. Uh, they are uh, Cellmeter, Keystone, and Nova. We will combine them together to meet our needs and uh, in, in this agenda, first I will talk about what is DCP and uh, how we design it to solve our problem. And then we will sign up the, sign up the main features, uh, main features uh, of DCP. Then I will explain how does DCP work. And because we want to use DCP to meet some customers' requirement, and uh, we also want it can be used in a large scale, and so we did some tests and uh, estimated uh, the scope of scale it can be used. And I we also have a video demo to make it uh, clear to understand. Uh, at last, we will talk about JCP's roadmap about what uh, we want to do next. JCP is a start for uh, Zap Cellometer proxy, and we use it to pull uh, the data from Cellometer to Zabbix. Uh, three, about three years ago, there are a project on GitHub to do the same thing, and uh, we, we have improved this program and uh, improved its pro performance, make it running under Mitaka release, and a uh, uh, Mitaka release version and uh, make it support Keystone V3, make it support uh, for Zex version 3. And uh, we also add the logging and testing system in it. Uh, then we make it support uh, multiple precise and multiple backends. Uh, now we have it running on one of our customers' environment, and uh, which has about uh, for 40 nodes and uh, about uh, two, more than 200 instances running on it. Uh, it will, I think it will be extended to 100 nodes in last, uh, next year, and uh, I think it will be a big challenge for us to, to make ZCP more powerful to handle it. Uh, here is the architecture of ZCP. I will show how we design it and uh, how all the things uh, work together. And the notification bus on the top, uh, it, we use the RabbitMQ in our design. And OpenStack use the RabbitMQ to send the notification of Keystone or Nova's events. So these events are what we need to get from the notification bus for ZCP. And in this design, Cellmeter also use 
use the bus to collect all the metrics and store them in Mongo or Noki. So uh, here this P is designed to listen from RAMQ to know that when we create an instance or when we create a project or just we, we just delete them. DCP is also designed to get metrics from Salometer or directly from MongoDB or maybe Nautry in the future. Uh, then DCP will call the Zapix API to publish all this data to Zapix. Uh, here on this page, firstly, as I introduced before, CCP will collect events notifications from RabbitMQ, and as we know that Nova and Keystone uh, have their own, own topic in the queue system, and uh, as we know that uh, the Cellometer will listen the topic of the queue to get the event notification. So for CCP, we, we should create another another queue for its listener, and also need a new banding to, to ban the, the Nova or Keystone ex Exchange to these TCP queues. Um, then we will get uh, the event notifications from this queue and uh, for, Zabbix, uh, for ZCP. Uh, it is just like a mirror queue, uh, making both ZCP and the Salameter to get a message and not affect each other. So, uh, so secondly, we can use Salometer API or Mongo driver to, or maybe Noki in the future to pull the metrics. Uh, I, I think uh, because, because using Salometer API will increase the network delay and we prefer using the Mongo driver directly uh, also, in the future, we will support Noki as one of the backends for GCP's data source. Mm, uh, and this page is a relationship mapping. Uh, I will show you that which concept in Zabbix will map mapping to the things in OpenStack. We will create a host in Zabbix and uh, uh, Creates a host in Zabbix when an instance has been built in OpenStack. And uh, the host uh, group in Zabbix will map to the project in, in, uh, in OpenStack. We use pro proxy in Zabbix to distinguish different domains we have in OpenStack. Um, after all the introduction of CCP's design, let's sum up the main features uh, CCP already have. And now CCP can support Keystone V3, make it possible that proxy, proxy can map into the domain OpenStack, and CCP also can take advantage of Cellimeter notifications queue uh, to get information we need and it also supports a relevant queue cluster. We can make the ZCP's queue durable to make, make sure that we won't miss any message. And we also check the instance list as the first run or even every pooling cycle to sync uh, OpenStack information to Zabbix. ZCP can retrieve resources or metrics from Salometer API or MongoDB driver and uh, publish them to Zabbix. Also, we can use Grafana to show those metrics, um, just make it look, look better. And this page shows that um, what, what, would, uh, what should we do before running ZCP. Our OpenStack version is Mitaka, and uh, all configuration I will introduce on this page are uh, based on that. Firstly, we should set up a notification driver in Innova and Keystone. Uh, 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 we, we edit the 
configuration file, which make, make sure that NOVA and the Keystone will sign the event notification we need. Uh, and uh, secondly, we should set up uh, Cellmeter's configuration file, uh, like uh, on this screen, uh, event pipeline YAML, to filter what events we, we really want to collect. For example, this event, this event on the screen uh, we will generate hourly, so we better to we better drop them if we don't need them. Then uh, we need to directory uh, directories in our environment. One is for the log, one is for the configuration file. Uh, after that, add is the configuration file proxy conf. There will be link and. Uh, Let's mm -hmm. can um, uh, where am I? <laughs> uh, uh, we can, there will, there, in, the, in, in the configuration file, uh, there will be the link and the authentication, uh, all the information for, for Keystone and for Cellmeter, for Mongo, MongoDB, for RabbitMQ cluster, and uh, the number of workers and the time of period, we can we can also change them in this file. And when we create a host in Zabbix, we need to use a template to describe the items of one host. Uh, and we cite the template default name as uh, template NOAA, I think. And they can be changed in our configuration file May, uh, many people ask how can we install ZCP and uh, where can get the source code. Uh, we already up upload the source code in the GitHub and uh, the link of it has been put in the reference, pa reference page, uh, which I will talk about later. So we can install Z ZCP after we download that source code and um, also we can install them through uh, Pipe, uh, pipe install. We can just uh, run pipe install ZCP uh, and we will get it installed. Uh, and then we, uh, in our console, we just type ZCP pulling and uh, push the enter, we will start it. In this page, is showing, showing that Keystone Domain will, will be created as a proxy in Jabbix. Uh, when ZCP is running for the first time. On the left uh, the, is the uh, OpenStack domain list, uh, and we can see we have some domains on that list, and on the right we have all the domains information as proxies created in Zabbix. Uh, because the proxy can't be created if there are some special characters in its name, uh, ZCP can find out if there is a problem. We, we, uh, we create a proxy with a bad name, so ZCP will change it to part of its UUID to make sure it can be created. And uh, almost the same as the previous page, we can get all the projects as host groups in Zabbix after first run, and uh, we have divided these projects into different proxies according to the domain they belong to. And uh, here's a note, the same name of, um, the same name of instance or project is a load in OpenStack, but it is now the load in Zabbix. So JCP will append part of UUID on the end of the name to make sure they're different. When an OpenStack event occurs, uh, we will drive ZCP to update Zabbix. 
resources, for example, create an instance, uh, we will find out it is created from JCP log and then we will see it has been changed in Zebex dashboard. To make this uh, more clear, this process will be shown in the next uh, video, video later. After instance information has been sized, JCP will pull the metrics of the instance to Zebex. Also, we can see this process in Zebex debug log. Uh, uh, see in the JCP debug log, and we can get the latest data from Zebex dashboard. The, all the metrics can show in Zebex and also can be showed in Grafana. The CV, uh, CPU U2 showed in this page is one of the 11 metrics. Uh, the data is in Mongo and also in Zebex. Grafana just get the data from Zebex and then show them out. Mm, in order to improve JCP's pooling performance, we use to sleep uh, uh, and uh, Zookeeper to make uh, multiple pooling agents can work together. Here is the re result of single process and uh, five worker processes uh, in a running test. And each, each instance has um, 11 items for pooling. And in this form, we can see that as the number of instances increase, it will take longer time to complete one test. Uh, if, we, if, if, uh, if we use five workers to do this, the same test, and uh, it will complete uh, about five times faster. So I think it means that JCP will not be the bottleneck of pulling data scale in, in, in each period. So we can add more workers to explain, uh, expand the pulling scale uh, skew. Um, then here is a video demo to show how JCP works and how we test it. First, we log in, log in Zabbix, and we can find out, find out that uh, there are there are no other hosts before we start the CP. And uh, also, there are not uh, host group like projects in, op in OpenStack. Uh, and here is the proxies. Then we log in our OpenStack dashboard. And uh, there are some instances we already have, and there are some projects, domains, we already have in our OpenStack environment. So I, I want to show the first run, JCP, and uh, they will uh, sign this information to Zebex. Now we start JCP, and it will listen the Nova and the Keystone queue, and get the information, uh, also can call Nova and the uh, Keystone API to Size the information. So we can see the project has been created as host group in this page. And uh, the instance has been created as host also. Next, we will sh show the ZSP instance discover. Uh, when we create an instance in our OpenStack environment, uh, it will sign a notification to the message queue. And this AP is a uh, listen that queue to, to tell Zex that we have a new instance in our system. So we can see that the, the another, another host has been created in Zex. Also, we delete the instance after we delete it it uh, can be seen on the JCP log and uh, also 
is it disappeared in Zebg's dashboard. We do the same test on projects and uh, domain. They, they will think the information same. The whole schools in Zex will create as as open stack project and delete as open stack open stack project. Okay, next. Uh, we will show you that uh, pulling parameter metrics into that uh, th this process, we should create an instance for test, and uh, we we make some data in in parameter to to make our uh, make us um, we can see eleven monitoring items has been created of the template. And uh, we log in the the VM in our OpenStack and uh, load full precise. And we can see it is 100% CPU tail running on it. And the data has been, after view, has been sent to the Zep dashboard. And we can show the data in Grafana too. They're just the same. And next, we using to sleep to run the CP first. We use single precise one worker to do the test and just uh, skip the skip the, the test. The test is under 200 instances about more than 2,000 items need to be pulled. And it uh, will take about uh, about three minutes to, to do it. And we change the workers to five. And we will test it again. We can see the out process has been joined in the, in the group, so five workers will work together to pull them. So it's a test result. We can see it, uh, it will take about 32 seconds uh, to, to do this, and uh, it is uh, five, five faster times Next, I will talk about the road, roadmap of the CP. And we want to support a new stage I mentioned before. Uh, it is Noki because Noki is the newest backend of Cellmeter. And we want to integrate Cellmeter Alarm with Zax Alert. So we can, if we have some alarms in Cellmeter, we can get the trigger or something uh, like uh, alarm in Zex. Uh, at least, uh, at last, uh, we we want to add some unit tests in Zex, uh, in in ZCP. And here the reference. You can uh, through this link to download the source code, and uh, you can tell us uh, what do you think about ZCP. If anyone has some good ideas about ZCP's roadmap please free, uh, feel free to tell us. Uh, thank you, everyone. I will take a few minutes to answer your questions. Thank you. Hey, yeah, please. Uh, I got no questions. Uh, uh, did this uh, 
this AP just do the uh, work to mapping the uh, map the uh, project to the proxy and the other resources. Does, does it have other uh, functions uh, in uh, in this AP? Uh, the ZCP is uh, doing two things. First, uh, I, I talk about uh, is to mapping this all concepts, and uh, the second is to pulling all the metrics from uh, Solometer to Zebx. And uh, the the main feature is to talk about uh, the how can we get the data from Solometer to to ZCP. Okay. Oh, the second one is: uh, um, Do uh, do you have some plans to uh, introduce more features like the uh, other resources, like a volume or uh, uh, image uh, in the ZCP in future? I think uh, the, this question. Uh, I will repeat this uh, Some new features in ZCP. Okay. Um, volume and other networks metrics. I think if they are in in Solmeter, so they can be uh, trans transferred to Zabbix. Um, uh, we should think up the w what's the concept in Zabbix can be mapping to this this uh, volume or network in OpenStack. I think we we can do that. Okay, thank you. Thank you.